on our YouTube channel. And I want to say a special hello to all those who are watching live stream. I request even the faculty members to please kindly be seated. The aisle of the auditorium now should be vacated for the procession to enter. Kindly keep your phone on silent mode and please rise. Kindly rise. A very good morning and I welcome all our distinguished guests, faculty, parents and the degree holders to our 13th Convocation 2022. For our graduates, this is one of their defining moments. To make every man a success and no man a failure is the history, the legacy and the value upheld by Hindustan. The degrees that will be presented are tantamount to ambition, achievement, and excellence that has been ingrained in every scholar in the years with us. I request all of you to please rise for Tamil Taiwart. Kadaludutta nila madande yerilulugum Sirarum vadana menartigar baradar kandamidu 
seated I now invite Dr. Angelina Geeta Dean ENT to deliver the welcome address A very good morning to all We thank God Almighty for giving us this day a day we all aspired, dreamt about, and worked for it. On behalf of our respected Chancellor, Madam, management, and faculty, we welcome the chief guest of the day, Dr. Kanaka Sabhavadi Subramanian, Senior Vice President, Product Development, Ashok Leland Limited. We welcome our director, Dr. Ebi Samsar, our Vice Chancellor, Dr. S. N. Sridhara, our Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. J. W. Alexander J. Sudarsan, our Registrar, Dr. Pon Ramalingam, our Controller of Examination, Dr. Kesi Selva Vigila, our Head, School of Liberal Arts and Applied Sciences, Dr. David T. Iso. We welcome our special invited dignitaries, deans, directors, professors, and other faculty members. With great joy, we welcome the parents, grandparents, sisters, brothers, and other relatives of our graduates who are witnessing this great event. We welcome the most important invitees of today, our dear students, now seated as proud graduates. We thank you, graduates, for making your family proud, your teachers proud, and carrying the brand name Hindustan. On this great occasion, we thank all the teachers who made this a reality. They are beaming with pride and happiness to see the dear students blooming into responsible graduates with a social responsibility. We thank all the support staff, lab technicians, and everyone who helped us in this academic process. God bless the day. God bless our children. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I now request Dr. David T. Ishu, Professor and Head, SLAS, to introduce our chief guest. Good morning to everyone. It's my pleasure to introduce our chief guest for the 13th Convocation of Hindustan Institute of Technology and Science. We have been fortunate to have Dr. K. Subramanian as our chief guest of today's event. Dr. Subramanian obtained his PhD from Cornell University in Electrical Engineering with specialization in microelectromechanical systems. He is currently the senior vice president at Ashok Leyland. Previously, he was the CEO and Chief Executive R&D at Power Gear Limited Chennai, where he worked on implementing several novel technologies in energy and other services. Before that, he worked at GE Global Research Center in New York. Dr. Subramanian has filled more than 50 patent application in his field. He managed a large program on microelectromechanical systems at GE and received two prestigious awards for his research. One of them, the Hull Award 
is presented to early career researcher at GE Global Research who have contributed significant technological adver 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 advancement, are a positive influencer on fellow technologists and embrace GE values. The other award, the Whitney Technical Achievement Award is for a project that he viewed as potential market game changer. Mr. Subramanian is a Six Sigma belt, black belt. He has made significant contribution to multi unique projects. He authored numerous publications and technical reports. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Subramanian. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I call upon our chief guest, Dr. Kanaga Sabapati Subramanian, Senior Vice President, Product Development, Ashok Leyland Limited, to address the gathering. Good morning, everyone. So nobody stood up. I think you all realized that your student life is over. So you don't have to stand up and say good morning anymore, right? It's a huge milestone. Congratulations. So it's a hearty, hearty congratulations. I know you've all gone through a lot to get here. And you're standing here at the pinnacle at the end of your engineering degree. In many ways, it's just a beginning. I know what you're all thinking. Here is another chief guest who's going to give a boring speech. I promise you, I will give you something to remember. I promise you it won't be boring. I promise you it won't be long. I promise you, you will get your degrees in hand with a nice photograph very soon. I've also gone through a lot of boring speeches. I know what it is like. So once again, congratulations. And I do recognize all the hardship that's gone in, both on your side, the faculty side, your parents who struggled to get you into college, you struggled to get into college, you went through endless hours studying, stress, missing meals, writing exams, being afraid of faculty as to what they're going to tell you, what they're going to scold you for, coming late to class. Trust me, I've gone through the same thing. Nothing is new here, nothing has changed in the last 30 years. But at, at the end of it, what matters is you've finished your degree, you've got your degree now, and it's a really big deal. So please congratulate yourself for this great achievement. <laughs> yourself and a huge congrats to your parents, grandparents, your brothers, sisters, everybody who has taken the trouble to put you here. So what next? That's the big question on everyone's mind, right? And I went through the same struggle to figure out what is next. And on one side, you have a sense that you have achieved something, and now you can relax in life. On the other side, you have all this uncertainty that you are just starting out in life. And now is the time you have to achieve something. So you have to make a choice. Are you going to take a day job? Are you going to take something where you will wake up in the morning, brush your teeth, have your shower, go to work, wait for lunchtime, wait for the next coffee break, wait when, when you will come home at 5 o'clock, wait for dinner and then wait for sleep time. That is one way to live your life. Another way to live your life is to wake up in the morning and literally think of how I can change the world today. And I'm not just saying this as part of a speech. I believe 
honestly, truly, that every single person in the room, if they decide to change the world, they can change the world. 40 years later, you will be here. We will all not be here. You will be the ones who will be running the world. You will be the population of the world. And the world is in your hands. It is not just an inspirational speech, as I'm saying. When I started out in life, I, I was as raw, as innocent as many of you are today. I didn't know what I was going to do. I did mechanical engineering in IIT Madras. This was 1995. Yes, it took a lot of effort to get into IIT. After that, fairly clueless as to what I wanted to do in life. But then took a decision saying that, OK, let me do something different. I actually made a switch from mechanical to electrical, believe it or not, completely different field. Right? I'm sure there's a lot of people here in all disciplines, computer science, electrical engineering, mechanical, what else, whatever else you have here. Right? So to me, when I asked myself, am I a mechanical engineer? There was no clear answer from my conscience. If I, when I asked myself, did I want to be an electrical engineer, I was still, there was still no clear answer. I realized that the world has become multidisciplinary. That there is no mechanical, there is no electrical, there is no computer science anymore. The lines have blurred. There is the saying that innovation happens at the intersection of disciplines. And if you have to take away one thing from my speech, it is that line. That it is the intersection that matters. If you go to a restaurant today, no, very, very few restaurants are surviving that are serving a single kind of food. You will realize that the successful ones are the ones that did the fusion. The ones that brought Chinese dishes and married them with Indian dishes. The ones like Barbecue Nation, which brought a new concept, merged them with Indian dishes, and then therefore were successful. They played on the intersection. If you watch a movie today, you will realize that it is not like the 1980s, or one hero will make the movie work. Two or three good songs will make the movie work. Now it is all about intersections. It is all about how you take multiple talents, how you take a star cast, how you take a good storyline, how you take special effects, how you take comedy, action, whatever it is, and how you mix it in the right proportion. So you are also like that. You may have studied something in your engineering, but what you're going to do is very, very, very likely completely different. And you have to figure that out. And that is the intersection. I want you to get outside your comfort zone. Do things that you are not comfortable doing. Wake up in the morning and ask yourself, am I comfortable today? And if the answer is yes, it's the wrong answer. Right? If you're a mechanical engineer, go and study biology. If you're a computer science person, realize that computer science is just a tool. You have to apply it to something, and you need to know what you're applying it to. If you're applying artificial intelligence to automobile engineering, you need to be an automobile engineer. So they used to have the saying, jack of all arts and master of none. Now I think the saying has to be changed. Jack of all arts and master of one or two or three. That is the norm today. That is what industry is looking for. Industry is looking for people who can do anything. We are not looking for mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, computer scientists. We are looking at people who can play the intersections, who can have a conversation with somebody across a completely different discipline and make that work. So that is the mantra today, right? So get that into your head. Whether you're taking up a job, whether you're starting up a company, whether you're going abroad for higher studies, I think this should play into your head at all levels. How do I make myself strong in one or two disciplines, but I know five or six disciplines, right? 
I spent 15 years in the US. A lot of people, when I came back to India, asked me why I came back to India. And I could not, I did not have an answer to them, frankly. Many people say people came back for family reasons. People say they came back for, uh, uh, for a better job, career prospects, etc. Some people say they have a family business to run. But I, 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 I told people I came back for intangible reasons. I just wanted to be back in India. That was the only reason I wanted to come back. But then people asked me what I learned in the US, how much technology I learned in 15 years, what was the breadth of experience. To me, the one thing I learned when I went abroad was confidence. Confidence. Technology can be learned anywhere. Whether you went to class in the last four years, I know half of you had online class, right? Whether you were sleeping through the class, doesn't matter. Technology can be learned. There is YouTube, there is internet, there are books. There is complete access to information today. If you want to learn something, you can learn it. What you cannot learn is confidence. Maybe 200 years of British rule took away some confidence from India that we can dream big. We were suppressed, but we have to come out of it. That mentality, that psyche is there in all of us today. So that one single thing I learned in the US that is confidence. And you can do anything with confidence. I'm not just saying this, I really, really mean it. I joined Ashok Leyland about one year ago. I joined as a senior vice president with zero experience in the automotive industry. I have not spent a single day in the automotive industry, but they hired me as a senior vice president. That is confidence. 10 years ago, I was the CEO of a power company, which makes power plants. When I joined the company as the CEO of that company, I had zero knowledge of power plants. And power plants is not something you learn in college. It's something you pick up through experience. In the US, I was a scientist in nanotechnology which was completely different area. But science is science. You can apply things across disciplines. And when you apply nanotechnology into the field of power, into the field of automobiles, that is when your value goes up. Right? And that is confidence. So let me ask you, do you have the confidence? Think, think about it. Anybody who started, for example, uh, an electric vehicle company today, which is a big buzzword, do you think they know everything about electric vehicles? They don't. They start with confidence. They know they can do it. Somehow they will do it. They get the right people to do it. They learn as part of the job. Anybody who starts a restaurant, do they know how to cook? Not necessarily. Anybody who starts as a director and makes a movie, do they know everything about movie making, about acting, about uh, storytelling? No. It's the confidence that lets them start, lets them carry through, right? Another little story for you, so that it doesn't become a boring lecture. Nine, go back to 1980s, 40 years back, 45 years back. Imagine a student graduating from college at that time. It's a fictional story. That student is walking down the road looking for a job. Somebody crosses that student's path. Student asks, who are you? Who are you crossing my path? I'm going to look for a job. I'm going for an interview. So that person says, I am the god of technology. Can I be with you? The student says, yes. The god of technology is with me. I'm sure I will get the job. Please join me. And the student keeps walking more. Another person crosses the path and student asks, who are you? He says, I am the god of hard work. So he says, please join me. If I have technology and if I work hard, I can come up in life. Student goes, attends the interview, passes in flying colors, gets the job. Transport yourself to 2022 now. Same student meets god of technology, god of hard work doesn't get the job today. 
something is missing. So then student wonders, goes for another interview. Another person crosses the student's path. Then he asks, who are you? He says, I am the god of communication skills. He says, please join me. Right? Another person crosses the path. He says, I am the god of innovation. You also join me. And then he gets the job. So times have changed. What used to get you a job 40 years ago, one generation ago, is not the same situation today. You need amazing communication skills. And it's not something you're born with. Right? Nobody is born speaking a language. But it takes three years flat to learn a language. You're born at age zero, and it takes a child at the age of three to fluently speak that language. Right? That's an amazing fact. Right? In three years, a child can learn a language from scratch. So if you decide today you can learn something new, become an expert in three years from scratch, whether it's communication skills, whether it's a new technology discipline, whatever it is, right? Then innovation, the ability to think differently, the ability to take risks. That was the original point I mentioned on comfort zone. Are you willing to do something different? And the answer has to be yes, otherwise you will not survive today. So all of this has to come together. Right? And it is not as daunting as it sounds. Everybody starts off fresh. And you can start today from zero. It's okay. Whatever you have done, whatever you have not done, all that is fine. Right? You can still learn Newton's laws. F equal to MA is something is something you learned in high school. You can still go back and revisit. That's what I asked when I joined Ashok Leyland, which is an automotive company. I said the only thing that I know in physics about something that moves is F equal to MA. I don't know anything else. I said, you have to teach me. Right? And then I asked the crazy questions. I asked the dumb questions that other people were afraid to ask. Right? I asked things like, for example, you have an electric vehicle. They say that if you put more battery, it will travel a longer distance. Today, the, today the biggest issue with electric vehicles is you don't have enough battery capacity to go the range. It's called range anxiety. Right? If it's a car or if it's a two-wheeler or if it's a lorry or bus, whatever it is, you have to put a big pack of batteries, and batteries are heavy, expensive things. You have to put a lot of battery to travel as many kilometers as a petrol or a diesel vehicles. So then I asked them, the only thing I know is Newton's laws, and Newton's laws, Newton's law says F equal to MA, force equal to mass times acceleration. And Newton is not telling me that battery capacity is even related to how far you can go. Right? You say kilometers per liter. For batteries, you say kilometers per kilowatt hour. But for fuels, you say kilometers per liter. So psychologically, you're assuming that for so many liters, you can only go so many kilometers. But Newton is telling me that F equal to MA, which means only when you accelerate, there is a force. If A is not there, F is not there. If you don't accelerate, you don't have a force. If you don't have a force, you don't consume energy, because force times distance is energy. I'm taking you back to 10th standard physics. Right? So what Newton is trying to tell you, what nature is trying to tell you, is that only when you accelerate, you need to consume power. So how far you go has no connection at all with how much battery you consume. How many times you accelerate is the only thing that is connected to how much battery you consume. So when I asked, this, people didn't have an answer. Right? So this is something that you learned in 10th standard. How many of you thought through this? But it's not too late. You can go back to the simplest of science. You can ask the really stupid questions to yourself. Right? And if you ask, like in this example that I showed you, you will realize that you can invent new things from very simple facts. And in this case, you can invent an electric vehicle, two-wheeler, four-wheeler, whatever it is, 
if you simply limit how much you accelerate the vehicle, you will get any kind of mileage. Mileage is not related to how far you go. Mileage is only related to how well, how much, how much you accelerate. That's what Newton tried to tell you. How many of you truly realize that, right? So many, so many things you have to start questioning. And that inquisitiveness is what will lead to innovation, right? And that spark of innovation is what is going to drive us as a country and will drive you, even in your personal selfish career ambitions, you will need that spark of innovation and that ability to ask questions which nobody else is willing to ask. So, as I said, I will not drag too much. I hope I have given a little seed of inspiration that all of you should achieve something fantastic. All the professors who scolded you are going to become your friends now. Things will change when you revisit Hindustan College as alumni. It will be a completely different relationship. And all of you should achieve so much that you should come back to these events as a chief guest, just like I'm standing here. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for, for an inspiring convocation address. I now call upon Dr. R. W. Alexander, Pro Vice Chancellor, Hindustan Institute of Technology and Science, to address the gathering. most respected chief guest for the 13th convocation of Hindustan Institute of Technology and Science, Dr. Kanaga Sabai, Dr. Kanaga Sabai Subramanian, the senior vice president, product development, Ashok Leilin, our very distinguished vice chancellor, Dr. Sridhara, registrar, Dr. Poon Ramalingam, the control of examinations, Dr. Kezia Vizila, the Dean of Engineering and Technology, Dr. Angelina Gita, the Head of School of Liberal Arts and Applied Sciences, Dr. David Iso, my very beloved deans and heads of departments and faculty members seated here, along with the host of faculty members, we also have our very beloved chaplain, parents, grandparents, and the nucleus of today's event, the graduates of this great institution. I first of all bring greetings to you on behalf of this great institution. I wanted you to take note of the proceedings of this convocation because what is happening here is a very historic one. The graduation day for you who have completed three years or four years as the case may be it's not going to be appearing again to, re to receive an undergraduate degree. You may get another degree in another convocation for a postgraduate degree or a research degree. But what is happening today is one and once for all in your lifetime as far as your undergraduate program is concerned. And therefore, I urge you to concentrate as this is a sacred ceremony and every word uttered here comes with a lot of essence and meaning. And therefore, on that note, I would like to speak with you for a few minutes to put in certain important aspects of life which would help you going, in addition to what our very beloved Chief Guest, Dr. Subramanian, has given you the words like confidence, innovation, and how exactly transformation can take place in your life. Four years ago, or three years ago, you have been planted in the soil of Hindustan by your parents. You have grown in this soil of Hindustan. Appropriate water has been poured. Appropriate fertilizers have been provided. When enemies came, suitable pesticides were applied. And today, you have grown into a beautiful, I would say, a plant, which is going to be bearing fruits, not now, but a little later. 
when you were here for four years or three years, there is something that had happened and for which people have been responsible. The people are probably your parents, your friends, most importantly your teachers, and the people are the one who have provided the input. They can only give the input, and you have grown. You have absorbed these inputs from the soil, from the air, from the water, and you have been steadily growing. And there has been a process that has taken place in you. And eventually, you have now become a product. You were very raw in the beginning. Probably some of you would have come from the remote areas, unable to communicate in English. But today, after the period of time, the people enabled the process. And today, you have become a product ready for advanced education or for employment, or whatever God has given you, you're going to be taking it up. The second important point that I wanted to leave before you is about the group in which I have specialized. I have specialized in insects entomology, and I'm now serving in a predominantly engineering institution, E to E. All of you know about the life cycle of a butterfly. It has got a stage called as the caterpillar stage or the larva stage. I think all of us would have seen in your lifetime. As the larva or the caterpillar eats the leaves, it grows and grows. It moves from one stage to another stage, the second stage to the third stage, fourth stage and so on, and reaches the final stage, fully grown. And it would think, that is the end of my life. It would think, I'm not going to be going beyond that. But in reality, what happens? This stage becomes another stage called as the cocoon stage, a quiescent stage. Even in your life, as you move on and move on, you might think that you have come probably to the pinnacle, to the end, but never think so. There is something new to happen. And what is happening in the life cycle of the butter butterfly is the caterpillar becomes a cocoon, a pupa. But that again is a very dangerous stage. Because you know, the cocoon, the one that is develop in, developing inside is very comfortable. It's a comfortable zone. Comfort zone was emphasized. But what happens? If it were to remain in that stage, it cannot become a colorful butterfly. And therefore, we need to break that quiescence, break the shell, and come out of it, whatever may be the situation, to fly as a colorful butterfly. Young graduates, don't think that, you know, undergraduate education is the end of everything. You have to move on to the next stage. Move on to the next stage and move till whatever is destined for you. The end is more important than the beginning. A very classical example is that the birth of the babies. If you have gone to the hospital, you will find babies, just born babies. Have you seen them? Maybe you would go to a hospital to see your nephew or a niece, you know, just born. The just born babies are all alike. They resemble each other, but for subtle differences like the color, or the hair, or whatever it is. Otherwise, all babies look the same. I think you would agree to that statement. But more than the beginning, the end is very important. What these babies eventually undergo the process and become at the end of the life is more important than the beginning. Whether at the end, the person has become the president of the country, or a scientist, or whatever you, know, you are interested in, is more, what is more important. As we look at the newspapers and read pathetic lives of the youth, and I urge you to take life very responsibly, the end is more important than the beginning. Don't be an attempter, be an achiever. 
Lastly, as we move on in this life journey, what is more important is our dependence on our Creator, our Almighty. There is a bird that sits on a small branch and this small bird is very, very happy because it has got a branch to sit on. Is it so? It is not so. This branch of a tree might break off at any time. It is not dependent or its reliance is not on the branch or the twig on which the bird is sitting. It is very happy because when the branch breaks, it has its wings to enable the bird to fly high. The dependence is not on the worldly branch or, or, the, or the twig, but the wings because the bird is born to fly. Its dependence is on the God Almighty, which, which would enable the person to go up in the altitude of life. And therefore, my dear friends, I do not know, we do not know whether we'll be able to meet each other again. But I wanted to encourage you to take life seriously, enjoy life, but at the same time, remember the golden words that were presented to you this morning by our chief guest and by the words that would come to you through your teachers. And above all, keep your dependence on the God Almighty who will be able to take you through any tough situations, any troubled waters. And if your work is going to be in sync with God's determination for you, sky is the limit for you to reach. With these words, let me once again congratulate all the graduates and I thank the management for having given me this opportunity. God bless Hindustan. God bless each one of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next, we have distribution of degree certificates and I request Head of Computer Science Engineering to present the graduates. I request our chief guest to present the degree certificates to our graduates. CSE graduates, please. Congratulations to all the graduates. So, first one, Bharat, Anjanehlu. Chakradar Kambali Mohana Krishna Kambali Manish Riya Satya Yeah, Miss Jay Sindhu
Mr. Hemant Kumar. Mr. Anand Vardhan. Mr. Deva Manikanda. Mr. Rogan Venan. Naneshwar Reddy. Gautam Reddy. Mr. Charan Sai. Mr. Sarvan Gupta. Mr. Mohammed Tavik. Mr. Sam Hagai. Punit Kumar. Mr. Chandragas Reddy. Deepak Ram. Mr. Chirag Bair. Number. Ms. Nikita J. Mr. Anantapalli Ishwar Sai. Manikanta Reddy. Ms. Kirtana, yes. Sri Charvit Kiran Reddy. Kiran Sai Shiva Prasad. Mr. Yan Deepak. Mr. Pavan Krishna, Daniel Pushparaj, Sahitya Balakrishnan,
गटा संदीप विजय भार्गव साई आकाश श्री साई रवंत लक्ष्मी साई महेश शिवकुमार जय सुनील कुमार रेड्डी बेलपु अनिल जस्विन अलेक्सांडर फ्रांसिस श्री विश्व सौरभ जाशवल नित्य कृष्ण युवराज मिस्टर साकेत पी प्रदीपिया लक्ष्मी मिस्टर पवित्र आर साई सिद्धार्थ राम रेड्डी अर्जुन प्रसाद मिस्टर जशवंत देव आदित्य किरण मिस्टर वेंकट पवन कल्याण मिस्टर मनोज केजी कौशिक कुमार पृथ्वी कुमार रेड्डी मिस शिवानी संतोष कुमार वेंकट कार्तिक मिस्टर 
मिस्टर नवीन कुमार के मिस संजीवनी शर्मा मिस रीबा मिस बल्ल नागर राजेश्वरी मिस्टर अमन प्रसाद मिस तेज अश्विनी हरी विश्वेश्वरन जनार्दन रेड्डी एस के रोशन वेंकट लक्ष्मी झांसी अभिषेक सी एस पुरुषोत्तम आदर्श मिस नव्या मिस्टर स्वरूप और मिस्टर अश्विन कुमार मिस आइलिन मरियम आब्रहम मिस्टर भार्गव नागचंद्रिका मिस्टर यस अरुणाचलम मिस संध्या रेड्डी मिस्टर आर विघ्नेश मिस्टर वसंत एम मिस्टर दिनेश मिस्टर ऋत्विक मिस्टर नितिन रेड्डी मिस्टर ऋषिकेश हेमंत मिस्टर हमसा हरून मिस्टर शाह श्रीकर मिस्टर विष्णुवर्धन मिस्टर श्रीराम साय कृष्णा मिस्टर सूर्य मोहन
मिस्टर निरंजन कुमार श्री शिवा कौशिक डेनी आगसी मिस्टर हर्षा वरुण रेड्डी स्वाति प्रिया मिस्टर बोला ईश्वरा साई मारती विश्वनाथ मिस्टर हर्षा वरुण रेड्डी मिस्टर चिंतला बुडी बालाजी मिस्टर कार्तिक मिस्टर शेख अल्ताफ हुसैन मिस्टर सत्य श्याम मिस प्रिस्किला पैकेट्स जी रक्षणा मिस्टर कौशिक बजाज मिस्टर नितेश मिस्टर एक्टी बन किरण राजशेखर रेड्डी वेंकट सुमंत शेख मोहम्मद सोहेल मिस्टर पुरुषोत्तम सिंह साई वेंकट सुमंत सिरज खान तुम्हारा बालाजी मिस्टर आजार हसन मिस्टर पवन कुमार सुपर आइडो मिस्टर मोहम्मद काइफ मिस्टर नागार्जुना रेड्डी चला अनिल
Mr. Madineni Hanumanta Rao. Sakti Saravanan. Ramakrishna. Mr. Lavan Kumar CH. Mr. Getty Boynas Srikant. Mr. Kamalakar. Mr. Venkata Kaushik. Mr. Sheikh Sultan Basha. Mr. Madhu Sudan Rao. Mr. Chella Rahul. Mr. Shiva Koti Reddy. Mr. Harsha Vardhan Reddy. Mr. Tullur Raja. Mr. Suvari Harish Kumar. Mr. Venkata Surendra. Ms. Ambati Amruta. Mr. Sai Gautam. Mr. Narshi Reddy. Mr. Srinivas Rao, Mr. Lokesh Kumar, Mr. Mitta Pavan Kumar Reddy, Mr. Varun Kumar, Kandeshwar Reddy, Mr. Harish, Uma Mageshwar Rao. Mr. Tulasi Ram, yeah, Ms. Permal Silasri, Sai Venkata Lakshmi Neha, Ms. Jyoti Sri. Ashrit, Sri Mahavishnu Reddy,
प्रकाश रेड्डी स्नेहा जा योगेश कुमार रेड्डी हरीश मिस्टर विघ्नेश सी आर मिस्टर लिखित कुमार दिस अनाउंसमेंट इज फॉर ऑल द ग्रेजुएट्स वंस यू रिसीव द डिग्री फ्रॉम द चीफ गेस्ट Please keep the tassel of your cap on to the left hand side. Mahidhar Sai. Mr. Sukesh Kumar. Ms. Janavi T. Mr. Jayant Koripalli. Mr. R. Ritik Kumar, Mr. Sai Naveen, Mr. Subham. Mr. Sri Krishna Prasad, Mr. Saumin, Mr. Sai Nivas, and Mr. Harshit. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, madam. So, my heartiest congratulations to all the graduates of Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Thank you. I now request the head of Information Technology to present the graduates. Good morning to all. It gives me immense pleasure to present the graduates of Department of Information Technology. Firstly, Ms. Priya Dashini. Mr. Sai Fanindra. Ms. Nandini. Mr. Venkatapadi Raju. Mr. Stephen, Ms. Prerana, Ms. Hari Priya. Mr. Adnan Mohammed, Mr. 
Miss Aarti. Mr. Sheikh Izzas. Mr. Sasi Kant. Mr. Anant Prasad. Mr. Siju. Ms. Aparna. Ms. Ilaya Raja. Ms. Corin. Ms. Divyanshi Govil. Mr. Enugu Suimant. Mrs. Sri Ram D. Mr. Vasu. Mr. Sandeep Kumar. Mr. Sai Sumant. Mr. Kumar Teja. Mr. Pavan Kumar. Mr. Venkateshwar Rao. Mr. Abhijit. Ms. Samita. Mr. Almira Sanjeevan. Mr. Vignesh. Mr. Nagapan. Mr. Akash. Mr. Ajit. Mr. Mano Ranjit. Mr. Aravinda Siddhartha. Mr. Bharat. Ms. Meenakshi. Mr. Banraj. Ms. Aparna. Mr. Ajay Karthi. Mr. Mohammad Sajid.
मिस्टर अभिषेक मिस्टर वासिम अहमद मिस श्रेया मिस्टर सतीश अश्वंत मिस श्रुति मिस्टर गोपाल कृष्णन मिस जेन कैरोलिन मिस्टर गिरीश मिस्टर धीरज मिस षण्मुग प्रसाद मिस श्री धनुष मिस अभिराम मिस डैनियल मिस्टर सौरव सुनील मिस्टर शेषा साय मिस्टर रोहित कुमार रेड्डी एंड मिस प्रियंका Hearty congratulations to all the graduates of Department of Information Technology. Thank you. Thank you ma'am I request head of ECE to present the graduates Good morning I take this opportunity to present 100 ECE candidates ECE graduates to the chief guest and the dignitaries on the dais Mr Akula Rajesh Mr Naha Sai Subba Rao Mr. Poonam Bhuvana Chandra, Mr. Sri Sai Teja, Mr. Rava Sai Kumar, Mr. Vinod Kumar, yes, Mr. Sai Danvendra Suresh. Mr. Sheikh Mohammed Asif, Mr. 
मिस्टर पूर्ण चंद्र राव मिस्टर लोचन दुर्ग सत्य साई मिस्टर गोपनपल्ली प्रणीत मिस्टर गोपनपल्ली प्रणीत मिस्टर वेंकट गुरु तेजा स्वरूप हर्षवर्धिनी एस मिस्टर सोमशेखर राजु मिस्टर श्याम एम मिस्टर पवन कल्याण मिस्टर शिव चक्रधर रेडी मिस्टर महेश बाबू राम सत्य नारायण मिस्टर विष्णु चैतन्य कुमार मिस्टर राम मोहन रेड्डी मिस्टर गोवड़ा आगाश शाय मिस्टर डमचरला हरीश मिस्टर अभिषेक मूर्ति मिस्टर बशवंत मिस्टर गोविंद मोहन मिस लेकिनी ओवियापी मिस्टर यारा साई मोहन रेड्डी मिस तारकेश्वरी पूजा मिस्टर घंटा श्रीहरि घंटा श्रीहरि मिस दिव्य भारती मिस्टर एम रूपेश मिस्टर हेमचंद्र रेड्डी सुचरिता मिस सुचरिता मिस्टर मणिकंटा मिस 
ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಲ್ಲಾಪುರಿ ನವೀನ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಯನುಗುಳ ಹರೀಶ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ನಟೀಶ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸುಕೇಶ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಬೆಲ್ಲಾಮ್ ನರಸಾ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ತೇಜ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ನಾಹ ಆಂಚಲೇಲು ಮಿಸ್ ಸುಜನಾ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವೆಂಕಟಪೂರ್ಣ ಚಂದು ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ನಾಹ ಭಾರ್ಗವ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಶಿವವರ್ಧನ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಕಾಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಹರಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಯಾರಂ ಹರೀಶ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ನಾಥ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಮಧುಸೂದನ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವಲ್ಲಂ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಸಾಯ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸಾಯ್ ಸದುರಂಗ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವೆಂಕಟ ಮೋಹನ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ವೆಂಕಟ ಮೋಹನ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ರಾಘವ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವಿಷ್ಣುವರ್ಧನ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಹರಿಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಿಸ್ ಶಾಲಿನಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸಾಯ್ ಸಕೇತ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಓಮೇಶ್ ಸಮಿನೇಣಿ ನಾಹ ತ್ರಿಪುರ ಮೋಹನ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಪವನ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜಡ ಬಾಲಾಜಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವೀರಶಿವ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವೀರ ವೆಂ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವೀರ ವೆಂಕಟ ಶಿವಾಸಾಯ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್
ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಾಸಿ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಚೆನ್ನಕೇಶವ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ತರುಣ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ನುದಾನ್ ಅಭಿರಾಮ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಗೋಡ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಶೇಖ್ ತೋಹಿದ್ ನಿಮ್ಮತ್ತಂ ಠಾಗೂರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ವರದ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ವಿಷ್ಣುವರ್ಧನ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸಾಯಿ ನರಸಿಂಹರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಸಾಯಿ ಲೋಕೇಶ್ ವೆಂಕಟ ಸಾಯಿ ಲೋಕೇಶ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಜಿ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಮಣಕಲ ಸಸೀಧರ್ ಮಣಕಲ ಸಸೀಧರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಶಂಕರ್ ಗಣೇಶ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಮಾನಸ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಗೌತಮ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಲಂ ವೆಂಕಟ ಶಿವ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಶೇಖ್ ಬಷೀರ್ ಅಹಮದ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಜೋಗಿನೇರಿ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವೇಣುಗೋಪಾಲ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ನಾಹೇಂದ್ರ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ನರೇಂದ್ರ ನರೇಂದ್ರ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮಿಸ್ ಶೇಖ್ ಸಲ್ಮಾ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಹರ್ಷ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರವಣ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಭವ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಿಸ್ ಸುದರ್ಶನ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಅವಿನಾಶ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ಹಾರ್ಟಿ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಜುವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಇ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಜುವೆಟ್
no individual photography is allowed we have designated photographers please be seated in your seat i now request the head of tripoli to present the graduates btech tripoli i present um, mr bodapati venkateshwar rao Ms. Devi Reddy Nagajyoti in absentia, Mr. Madhaka Pavan Kalyan, Mr. Rachakunda Surya Satya, Mr. Rahapuru Ganesh Reddy, Mr. Hari Haran, yes, Mr. Megavat Sai Charan Nayak. Mr. Bulle Ram Prasad, Mr. Simhadri Ajay Kumar, Mr. Bai Rapu Guru Pavan. Mr. Sai Inesh N L, Mr. Jay Prakash G, Mr. Balam Balu. Mr. Vinod Kumar, thank you, thank you, ma'am. I now call upon Head MBA to present professional diploma candidates. Respected dignitaries, I present unto you the. Graduates from the Professional Diploma in Cyber Security Management, Mr. Bala Kumaran. Mahesh D. Rockefeller. In absentia. Next is Muthu Swami. Muthu Swami. Mr. R. Rajiv, congratulations to the graduates. Thank you, sir. Now I call head MCA to present the BCA graduates. Good afternoon to everyone. It's my pleasure to present the graduates of Department of Computer Applications. Mani Bharati E. Uttam Singh P. Ramesh, yes. Varun M. Ravi Kumar Yadav B. Sai Prashant B. C. Pavitran. Manivel G. Sunil G, R Danish, Bharat Kumar S,
ஆதர்ஷ் சி நவீன் குமார் ஏ சர்ஜுன் சி எஸ் ஓம்கார் பூபேஷ் தேக்கடே லோகேஷ் எஸ் then a prithik roshan k vimal raj k dinesh j பாலச்சந்திரன் ஆதிரா ஹெச் ஜிஸ்லி ஜெனிஃபா சரண்குமார் டி எஸ்ஆர் கரண் எஸ் அஞ்சலி அனிஷ்குமார் எஸ் கோகுலகிருஷ்ணா டி ஸ்டீஃபன் ஆரோக்கியராஜ் எக்ஸ் ரிஷி வர்தமானன் எஸ் மேத்யூ சாஜன் ஸ்ரீராம் ஆர் சாம்வெல் ஜி ஆதித்யன் பிசி அஸ்லான் ஷா என் அபர்ணா பி தருண் ஜி
Gobesh, yes. Stephen Jack J. Sudarshan E. Gokul P. Karthik Raja A. S. Alagappan. Harish V. Kemanan E. S. Kemanan E. S. Jason Pushparaj S. Harish R. Yes, Purushottaman. Satish A. G. Jyotika R. Haripriya A. S. Nair Paul William Aishwarya Bharati B. Abhilash R. Kema B. Guru Charan N. M. Bhaskaran S.U. A. Sheikh Mogamad. Hearty congratulations to all the graduates of the Department of Computer Applications. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Now I call upon Head MBA to present the BBA graduates. Respected sir, we present unto you the graduates of the Bachelor of Business Administration, Meta Jnana Janavi, Dugirala Ravichan, Damien D. Madana Gopal. Kanishka Shri. Hari Haran. Nitish B.
अभिलाष मोहम्मद शालीन वासीम अक्रम वासीम अक्रम मृदुलानी साई भार्गव पवन कुमार आलविन जब कुमार अब्दुल रहमान आदित्य सुंदर गोकुल राज यस मोहम्मद अनास विद्यासागर सिंह मोनिक आर के मोनिक डेविड डेविड एबिशान जयराज अंकिता सतीश अमर मोहन शंकर रोहन जॉन जोसेफ भानु प्रसाद साई शशांक जियो जॉनसन ज्योति कुबेरन अरविंद आर श्रीनिवास कल्याण शेख फिरोस तंग सत्य कला रितन्या कर्णन जयलक्ष्मी अड़गेश्वरी चारुमति दीपिका अमन सफाना फिरदोस
బీబీఏ ట్రావెల్ అండ్ టూరిజం మేనేజ్మెంట్ శృతి ఏఎస్ శృతి ఏఎస్ జోనా షర్లీ జోనా షర్లీ హాస్పిటల్ అండ్ హెల్త్ కేర్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ దేవ్ యానీ కార్తి కిషోర్ కుమార్ కిషోర్ కుమార్ కౌసల్య రాజేశ్వరి బీబీఏ ఏవియేషన్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ సర్వేష్ దిలీపన్ మంజునాథ్ మొహమ్మద్ ముస్తఫా స్వాతి రాజన్ శాలం బ్రైట్ యుగేంద్రన్ దీపక్ కుమార్ వెంకటేష్ రోహిణి సునీల్ ఆల్బర్ట్ నికిత జెనిఫర్ దర్శన్ హీరో స్నోలెక్స్ అభిషేక్ ఏఎస్ మొహమ్మద్ మనాస్ మొహమ్మద్ అజ్మల్ మొహమ్మద్ షాహీర్ దీపికా శ్రీ ముకీలన్ అజిత్ బినాన్ రియా మాథ్యూ రాహుల్ శ్రీవాస్తవ్ రితీష్
सूर्य प्रकाश ग्लैड इज हनी ऑलिव एडिनो एनल एनल इन ब्रीजी मिशेल प्रहर्षा जोयल वर्की निमा फातिमा रमणा अस्फर शाफिक अतपुरी मानसा अजय प्रकाश हिमवर्षिता मेघना लक्ष्मी मोहम्मद यासन ईश्वर प्रदीप भुवनेश वी कंग्रेचुलेट ऑल द ग्रेजुएट्स फ्रॉम द बीबीए प्रोग्राम्स फ्रॉम द स्कूल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट थैंक यू थैंक यू सर Now I call the coordinator school of SLAs to present the BCom graduates. Respected dignitaries on the stage, hereby we present the list of graduates in Commerce Department. Miss Nandini, Mr. Devesh Kumar. Ms. Domini, Ms. Joyce, in absentia. Mr. Leonardo Joseph. Mr. Yeshwant. Mr. Hari Ram. Mr. Varun. In absence of Mr. Jeski Joshua, Mr. Lakshmanan, Ms. Arti, in absence of Mr. Tushal, Ms. Gomati. Ms. Aishwarya, Ms. Neha, Ms. Vishali, Mr. Madhavan. Ms. Mandalapu Sanjana.
on behalf of School of Liberal Arts and Applied Sciences, I congratulate the Commerce graduates. Thank you, sir. Now I call Head Fashion Design to present the BAC graduates. A very good afternoon to one and all. Dignitaries on the dais, I present unto you 23 students from BSc Fashion Design from the Department of Fashion Design and Arts. Ms. Kyle Willie. Ms. Gayatri. Ms. Kirtiga. Ms. Sandhya P. Ms. Varsha. Ms. Shalini. Ms. Shweta S. Ms. Amrita. Ms. Shweta. Ms. Adashiya. Ms. Koteshwari. Ms. Varsha. Ms. Pavitra. Ms. Harani. Ms. Arfin. Ms. Aishwarya. Ms. Vaishali. Ms. Sharmila. Ms. Shubh Nakshatra. Ms. Akshaya Lakshmi. and Ms. Sheikh Shamshun. Congratulations to all the graduates. Thank you, ma'am. Now I call upon Head Food Technology to present the BSc graduates. Good afternoon, everyone. I now present on to the, the list of graduates of Food Technology. Rishi Rahul, SV. Joshna A. Sheikh Ehtaj. Mm -hmm. 
नवीन कुमार आप शिव प्रकाश एस काश्यप कृष्णा सी श्यामल जोनाथन पी सूर्य प्रसाद एम गांधी राजन एम जेमी माल पी निवेदिता एम Thomas Akash Kandavil S Vimal Charles Santosh Kannan I आशिका एसपी अभिनया एस सजीत एस नोएल देवराज जे Noel Devraj J. Priyadarshini S. Sharon Milani JBP. Ankita Tirke M. Rishikesh Prakunan N. V. श्रेयोशी दत्ता शक्ति ऐश्वर्या बी कौशिकी रित Joseph Kuncheria John Muhammad Aslam K.A. Muhammad Rasik C.K. Mandala Deepak Ajay Kumar S
காலையப்பன் ஐ பிரினேஷ் பாலாஜி ஜி ஷேக் ஆஷிக் இலாஹி ஐஸ்வர்யா கே எஸ் கௌலாஸ் வம்சி கோல்டி அஜய் பவித்ரா ஓ தேவாரப்பள்ளி வம்சிப்ரியா எண்டூரு சுவேரி சாய் ஏ சரண்யா ரேஷ்மிதா சிகு சூர்யா சரண்குமார் மை ஹார்டி கங்கராச்சுலேஷன்ஸ் டு ஆல் தி கிராஜுவேட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் டெக்னாலஜி Thank you ma'am now i call upon head visual communication to present the bsc graduates good afternoon everyone i proudly present the graduates of bsc visual communication program uh, shri kumar km sharun jobin sushil d Sundar SM Rokula Kannan A Surya S ஹரி விக்னேஷ் வி சங்கமேஷ்வர் ஆ ஃபைனல் கேண்டிடேட் ஜீவா எஸ் Thank you ma'am. Now I call head physical education to present the BSc graduates. Good afternoon. Orlando present here. I am glad to present 15 students in person and three in absentia to receive the BSc physical education degree. Mr. Sudhagar RT Mr. Navanitha Pandian M. Mr. Kulal Ali R. Mr. Manigandan T. Mr. Nitish Kumar M. Mr. Samsudin, yes. Mr. 
Mr. James Joseph Stephen, yes. Mr. Karun Sagar, D, yeah. Mr. Mario Antony. Mr. Ram Pragas K. Mr. Abilas B. Mr. Muhammad Sagat A. Mr. Deepak Raj Yan. Ms. Tamre Chalvi B. Mr. Ajay K. We congratulate all the BSc Physical Education graduates. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I call upon Coordinator School of SLAs to present the BA Triple Majors graduates. Good afternoon to the dignitaries on the stage. I hereby present the list of graduates in BA, Triple Major, Psychology, English, and Political Science. Mr. Phillips E. Rubin. Mr. Alagumani Gandan. Ms. Nagalakshmi, Mr. Vishwa, Ms. Janani, Ms. Dwani, in absentia. Ms. Dainish Kizat Mistri. Ms. Shuti Shida. On behalf of School of Liberal Arts and Applied Sciences, I congratulate all the graduates. Thank you, sir. I now request head languages to present the postgraduate. Good afternoon. It gives me immense pleasure to present unto you Ms. Krishna Priya, who has been duly certified to receive a MA English degree. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. I now request Dean Law to present the postgraduates. And it is my pleasure to award LLM degree in international law from School of Law uh, to the following. One, Mr. M. Churchill Das Prince. Subin Abraham. Subin Abraham. Uh, this is the first batch of the School of Law from this year. This is Thank you, sir. I request the dignitaries to now take their seat. Kindly rise and I request you to please behave responsibly and maintain the decorum. Kindly rise.
only the graduates needs to rise because they are getting ready for the pledge. The tassel of your cap should be on to your left hand side now. Please be quick. Extend your right hand in front. I now call upon Shijo Prakash, Information Technology, to take the pledge. Kindly repeat after me. We shall, we shall. in thought, in thought. Word, and word and deed, ever endeavor, ever endeavor. To, be to be scrupulously honest in the discharge, in the discharge. of our duties in our, in our profession and shall, and shall uphold, uphold the, dignity the dignity and integrity, and integrity of, our of our profession and the honor, and the honor of, our of our institution. We shall, we shall uphold, uphold and, advance and advance social order, social order. and the well-being of our, of our fellow members and shall, and shall devote, all devote all our energy to promote, to promote unity, unity integrity, integrity and, secular and secular idea of our country. Be seated. For the vote of thanks, I call upon Dr. C. Kezia Silva Vigila, Controller of Examination, Hindustan Institute of Technology and Science. Good afternoon to all of you. It gives me immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks. I thank the Almighty God for taking full control over the weather and the entire program. And he has helped us to conduct this 13th convocation in a successful manner, I praise and give all glory to the Almighty God. Today, we are all happy to see the graduates holding their degree certificates on their hands. It has happened because of the sacrificial life and the noble vision and mission our founder had in his heart. So at this time, I thank our founder, late Dr. KCG Varghese, for establishing this wonderful institution and producing good citizens of our nation. I thank the Honorable Chancellor, Madam, for gracing the convocation yesterday. And it was a uh, blessing to all of us. There is a unique in this 13th convocation that is stole. We can see the stole on the shoulders of all the graduates. I thank our pro-chancellor, Dr. Anand Jacob Varghese, for introducing the stall. And he wanted to do everything in the uh, best possible way without compromising the quality. We are really fortunate to have such eminent leaders. And I thank our pro-chancellor for all his support. When God asked Moses to build a tabernacle, uh, he gave minute specifications. How many curtains should be there in the tabernacle and what are the items, utensils to be kept inside the tabernacle. Each and every point he gave in, in the same manner, our directors, Mr. Ashok Varghese and Dr. Rebisam, uh, they are guiding us to do everything in a perfect manner. From the bottom of my heart, I thank both the directors for all their support. We are uh, having a wonderful um, Vice Chancellor, Dr. N. Sridhara, a kind hearted, easily accessible to all the staff and students, going extra mile to help the students. On behalf of all the uh, faculty and on my own behalf, sir, I thank you so much for all your support. 
and I thank the Pro Vice Chancellor for delivering the special address today. And we are having a well experienced uh, uh, leader, our registrar. Sir, I thank you so much for all your guidance and support. And I thank the Director International Affairs, Director Research, Director Projects, and all the deans, head of the departments, faculty, and all the staff members for their uh, fullest support and contribution for making this event a grand success. And there are 24 committee, and each committee has many members. They worked day and night, very hard, tirelessly they worked, and because of their dedicated hard work, this uh, function was a grand success. And uh, really, I am so uh, grateful to God for bringing a, a very good uh, chief guest, and uh, Dr. Kanaga Sabhabadi Subramanian. And sir, we thank you so much for accepting our invitation. And we are all encouraged through your words of wisdom. So thank you so much for being with us. And it is very rare to see the chief guest standing throughout the session and distributing the certificates. So really, sir, we thank you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, especially, I would like to remember all the staff members working in the COE office. Uh, may God bless them abundantly. And I thank all the parents uh, who are here to witness the uh, program. And finally, I thank all the graduates for attending the today's event. And um, you may think that uh, your, it is the responsibility of your parent to give the education to the children. But I want to tell you one thing. Uh, when you get into the world, when you reach higher heights, when you earn good salary, it is your responsibility to give respect to your uh, parents and honor your parents. So please don't forget the foundation which they have laid on your life. So I humbly request all the graduates to honor your parents till the end of your life. There is a uh, saying in the Tamil, Yenda nilai vandalum, vanda nilai maravade. Yenda nilai vandalum, vanda nilai maravade. Dear graduates, in future, definitely I believe that God will lift you to greater heights. But don't forget the paths which you have crossed. And don't forget your parents and the teachers who have helped you to reach that level. I wish all the graduates very successful, very success and bright future. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Kindly rise for the national anthem and remain standing till the procession leaves the auditorium. Janagana mana dinayaka jayahe Bharata bhagya vidata Punjab sindh gujarata maratha Dravida uktala vanga Vindhya himachala yamuna ganga Uktala jaladita ranga Tava shubhana me jage Tava Shubha Ashish Maage Gahe Tava Jaya Data Janagana Mangal Daayak Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidarta Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Please remain standing.
request the graduates please be seated please be seated you cannot leave right now because we have the next ceremony that is alumni ambassadors 2022 instituting ceremony i request the graduates to please be seated